Thank you everybody for joining this webinar, a virtual tour of our new digital experience. I'll be your host for this particular webinar today. My name is Wilmer Compagnoni and I lead the technical marketing team at Emmet. And our presenter today is David Adib, our senior technical marketing engineer. Thank you, Wilmer. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, good morning to you. Good afternoon. Good evening, whatever uh, your time zone may be. Uh, my name is David Adib, as uh, Wilmer uh, uh, said earlier, and I will be taking you through the new, uh, the Kemet new digital experience. But before we get started, I'd like to go ahead and uh, introduce myself a little bit. Uh, I am here at Kemet in, uh, in Florida, based in the United States. And as Wilmer mentioned, my role is uh, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer. I have a degree in Electrical and Electronics Engineering with a Master's Degree in Business Administration. I actually just recently joined Kemet about a little over a month ago. And on the personal level, I like the outdoors. I like riding my bike, um, although with the circumstance that we've all been uh, part of lately, it's been kind of challenging to do that. Without further ado, uh, let's get started with our uh, presentation for today. So for today's agenda, there are four uh, main topics or uh, digital properties or tools of Kemet's that I will be introducing you to. And Kemet uh, lately has launched a variety of different uh, digital platforms and tools that I think are very helpful to you to enable you to perform your job function and get your work done most efficiently and most quickly. The first tool that we'll uh, be showing you today is our new KSIM tool. Um, many of you may be already familiar with uh, Kemet's KSIM tool. Uh, well, recently we launched a new KSIM version, uh, 3.0 and we'll be taking you on a tour on that tool, show you what that tool has to offer. Next, we'll move on to our component edge uh, tool in which I will show you a visual search uh, capability, which is quite unique to Kemet. And then we'll be moving on to our engineering center or our technical resource center. And finally, since we would like to always keep the best for last, we will take you on a tour of Kemet's totally new, totally redesigned, 100% new website. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to talk about today is the KSIM tool, as I mentioned earlier. And those of you that may not be familiar with KSIM, KSIM is simply Kemet's simulation tool. So it's a tool, a web based tool that enables you to uh, explore the electrical performance of a component under a variety of different conditions. So basically, you're able to simulate how that particular component is going to function as part of your circuit uh, based on certain conditions. You can uh, modify those, whether it be it uh, DC bias or temperature, things like that, and we'll, we'll see that in a second. This new version was just launched on May 11th of this year, just a few days ago, and it covers about 33,000 different components across more than 100 different series. And it includes a couple of new features, which I'll show you. So as I mentioned already, um, it covers the uh, simulation of those uh, components under external influences, such as frequency, DC bias, and so forth. And it covers all of the different capacitors and other components that Kemet has as well, including ceramic, polymer, et cetera. Uh, the nice thing about this tool is that you can access the tool from any web-based uh, or uh, a device where you have internet access. So you can use it on your tablet, on your cell phone, on your computer, anywhere where you can simply have internet access. If you're able to go to Google, you're able to go to Keysum. So you don't have to install any specific applications or any special features on your device. Okay. Um, and the other nice thing about it, uh, which I'll also demonstrate to you in a second here, is that once you're done with your simulation, once you've, you've selected your components or component, uh, you're able to share that simulation with a colleague or a friend of yours that you may be working on the same project with. You're able to embed that link in a PowerPoint presentation, text it to somebody, email it to somebody, all right? 
So let's actually go ahead to the tool and I'll show you exactly the different features that this tool has. So I'm simply going to launch my browser here and I'm simply going to type Kasem 3.kemet.com and once I hit enter, Okay, so this is the home page of the new Kasem tool. And those of you that have used Kasem in the past, the 2.0, uh, you can tell that already uh, the 3.0 looks a little different, okay? So the first feature that uh, I'll show you is the capacitor simulation. Um, and but what I mean by that is that you can simply click on capacitor simulation and choose the type of capacitor that you're interested in. So for example, let's say you want to simulate the um, performance of a ceramic capacitor. And I'm just going to choose any capacitor here. So this one will do. And as you can see, uh, immediately, as soon as I select my component, I am presented with a graph on the right-hand side. And I can simply close this panel so you guys can see better. All right, so here is the graph that gives me the impedance and ESR, as you guys can see here. Um, sorry, I zoomed in by mistake. Uh, the impedance and ESR for this particular capacitor. Now, if you go a little down further and you open this little arrowhead, you can also see uh, additional information about this component and you can simply download the spec sheet or the data sheet for that particular capacitor. Moreover, you can actually export this in different file formats. So you can uh, export it for, uh, for example, in a, you know, to an image format and um, you can download that onto your computer. You can email it to somebody if you'd like to. Furthermore, you can also change the chart type. So say, for example, I want to see the capacitance and inductance of that particular capacitor, and I'm able to do that as well. Now, one new feature about this tool, which we did not have before, actually, is the inductor simulation. Uh, I mean, of course, this, you know, the new KSIM tool has a, a lot of other features that uh, we won't have time to cover all of, all of them today, but just wanted to show you the highlights of this tool. So the inductor simulation is very similar to obviously capacitor simulation. And once I choose my inductor and I get here also immediately a chart showing me the inductance. And if I want to change it to power loss, I can do that. And if I want to change it to temperature rise, I can do that. And additionally down here, I'll be able to see further information in the spec and the data sheet. Now, let me show you how you can share this. So by simply going over here to where it says share, if I click on it, it'll give me a message that this uh, link has been actually copied to my clipboard. Uh, and subsequently I can go and paste that into an email, a uh, PowerPoint presentation, or even a text message, uh, as I mentioned earlier. And this would be the link that would be shared. Now the person who's going to receive that, they don't have to do the simulation again, they can simply click on that link and they'll be taken directly to the results that uh, you arrive to during your simulation. Okay, so this is in a nutshell our new KSM tool. Now the next thing I want to show you is our component edge. And for those of you that may not be familiar with Kemet's component edge, component edge is basically our component hub where you would find probably the most detailed product information about any of the Kemet's product that we, have, that we offer. And one really cool and unique feature about this tool that it, it, is that it enables you to do a, what, we, what we call a visual search, which basically means that you don't have to search for a product by a product family or, or, or any other criteria. You will simply select that product from a graph. And let's go directly to the tool and I'll show you that as well. So let me go back here and type in component edge.kemet.com. And if I hit my enter button, okay. So here is the component. This is the homepage of our component edge. On the left here, you can filter by certain criteria if you'd like to. Uh, but let's say you're working on a design and you have absolutely no idea uh, what kind of capacitor, for example, you're looking for. Uh, you don't know if it's ceramic, tantalum, you just don't know. All you know is the capacitance and the voltage. So you can simply use our handy dandy visual search tool 
And before I proceed with this, I just want to show you that you actually have instructions on how to use this tool. If you haven't used it before or if you're not familiar with it, you can simply read those instructions uh, and you can always reference back to them. But let's say I want a capacitor that is, I'm just gonna say one nanofarad and 10 volts DC. And that's all I know. Uh, that's, that's all the information I have at this point at my disposal. I can simply click on this graph and then the tool will automatically bring me to a screen where it shows me the capacitors that fit that criteria uh, and nothing else. Okay, and I can select one of those product families, for example, select my commercial grade, and voila, here you go. You got all, the, these, all of these capacitors uh, comply with the criteria that I had selected, the capacitance of one nanofarad and the voltage of 10 volts DC. Now, let's say I am interested in this capacitor. So what do I do? Well, I can download the spec sheet, I can download the data sheet, not only that, but I can actually go here and I can read more about it and I can see who has this capacitor in stock, okay, in the Americas. And you can change that if you would like. Let's say you're located in Asia, you can change it in Europe and so forth. So here it tells me in the United States, I got these two distributors that have this much, this many uh, units in their inventory. And I can also view their pricing or if you actually are really interested in this capacitor, you wanna order it, you can click on buy now and you're taken to that distributor's website where you can place your order. It's as simple as that. It's very simple and very powerful. Okay, so this, is, um, this concludes our tour to component edge. Just wanted to show you the highlights again. Uh, and once again, there are you know so many different features, but for the sake of time, we'll uh, just show you these important highlights. And next to Component Edge, we're going to take you on a quick tour to Engineering Center. And Engineering Center, I define it or I look at it as our technical resource center. So it's full of technical resources, and, and meaning you know blog articles, webinars like this webinar, for example. The recording of this would be posted on our Engineering Center as well as you know, recordings of past webinars and uh, calendar for future webinars if you're interested and you want to sign up. Uh, and you can also uh, read on some of our blog articles, etc. So instead of telling you more about it, let me just sim simply show you. So let me close this out. And the website to that or the address, and as you can see, all of these tools you can access from any device that you have internet, could be your tablet, anything at all, or your home computer even. Uh, ecengineeringcenter.chemet.com, hit enter. And there you go. Okay, now I can go to products and I can browse these products, but I'll keep that, uh, you know, uh, I won't go there for a minute because I wanted to show you on our next digital platform, the Kemet, the new Kemet website. But I can go to resources, for example, and I could read some of uh, Kemet's blog articles. Um, and uh, Mr. Campagnoni here, though, who is the host of this uh, webinar, actually participates and contributes a lot of our blog articles to this uh, to this section here. So. If you keep going down, it will keep loading more and more articles, okay? And, uh, and again, we're, we're, make, we're also going to make you know, enhancements to this and, and group the blog articles, but if you see a topic that catches your eyes, you can click on it and you can read that particular blog article. Uh, the next thing I want to show you here is uh, our webinar section under events. And as I mentioned a minute ago, you can see all of our upcoming webinars. And if I click down here, you're actually, you'll see the full calendar of webinars, you know, going all the way to June and July. And we also have a Mandarin, those of you that may be interested, uh, we have a Mandarin section for our webinars, for our web, uh, Mandarin webinars. And these, all of our past webinars that you can actually click on, and you can download the uh, full presentation, like this presentation here will be published uh, and posted on this, uh, on this link. 
and you can listen to a recording of the webinar uh, the same way you're uh, watching it live at the moment, okay? So uh, one last thing I just wanna show you real quick. Um, all right, so let's see. Okay, so this uh, sample solution board is, I actually think it's a really cool feature in this website. Um, this is an interactive board where if I, with my mouse cursor, hover over the components here on the right-hand side, it will highlight to me in yellow or put a yellow box around it on the left. But if I, for example, if I go to this board and click on this particular component, it'll actually tell you what this component is, the range of capacitance and voltage, and by clicking more information, you can actually read even more about it. So I think this is a really cool feature that kind of enables you to select or browse a product uh, with this interactive board feature. Okay, now having said all of that, let's move on to the crux of this presentation, which is our new uh, Kemet.com website. And before I show you the website and show you the different features that it has to offer, uh, I'd like just to tell you first that this is, what you'll see today is by no means the end of the road for us. So this is just a website, a new website that was launched on the 4th of this month, May 4th. Um, so it is certainly a multi-year, multi-stage, multi-phase project. Uh, what you will see today would be further enhanced a lot. And we're actually working, actively working on enhancements already, even though this uh, new website was just launched a couple of weeks ago. Uh, our future vision for this website is that it, it's going to offer you a totally new digital experience where it's going to be a one-stop shop where you would simply go to one website, kemet.com, and find there all the tools and all the information and all the different um, you know, uh, tools that Kemet offers you to enable you to do better uh, at your job and, and find information to aid you with your design. Uh, so this is our uh, future vision of this, where all the tools that I've just shown you will be incorporated in that website. But as it stands now in this website, what you will see today is a totally new homepage a very uh, easy, simple product browsing experience that enables you to quickly find the product you're looking for without clicking, you know, 15 different times. And you will also find a, an applications area that I think, in my opinion, is very comprehensive, tells you a whole host of information about the different industries and applications where Kemet's products can be used. And finally, uh, a, an interactive contact us area that you can actually go to. You can submit questions, whether technical questions or if you have questions or feedback about the website itself or about any of our digital platforms, you can contact us directly. Uh, you can also find a sales representative uh, or a distributor in your area. So these are all the new features that you will see today. But again, uh, as time goes by here and and I know for a fact that there are uh, other phases scheduled to be released uh, yet in 2020. So before this uh, year is over, uh, you will see further enhancements already to our new uh, website. So let's uh, go there and I'll show you this new exciting website, kemet.com, enter, and here is our homepage, okay? And the first thing I want to show you is up here on the top, you will see a list of the different products that Kemet has. And let's say, for example, I'm interested in reading more about Kemet's capacitors, ceramic capacitors. So once I click on that, it gives me that at this point, it's showing me all ceramic capacitors, okay? But let's say I'm looking for a specific uh, voltage and I can select my AC voltage, my DC voltage, and I can select my capacitance tolerance, or if you know the exact value of the capacitor that you're looking for capacitance wise, you can select that as well. And as I mentioned earlier, it's very easy. It will filter it for you based on the criteria that you select. Um, and let's say, for example, let's find here one that, okay, so let's say 
um, you want to find out more about this particular capacitor. So once you click on the part number, it takes you straight to the page where you can see this capacitor. And once again, you can download the same exact stuff that I showed you on Kasem uh, 3.0. You can also download the data sheets here, the spec sheets. And if you're interested, you can actually order it. So once again, there is another uh, uh, tool where you can uh, order some of our products. So again, you can filter by region and you can filter by country. And if you click here on buy now, it'll to redirect you to the distributor's website where you can place your order. Okay, I'll wait for that to load here in a second. All right, so Farnell, you know, they got this capacitor in stock. I can go ahead and order it using their own website. Now, let's go back here because I want to show you one more thing. Now, let's say I don't want to order this capacitor yet. I'm not ready yet to place an order. But I have a question about it. So I can simply click on contact a sales representative. And once again, I'm able to filter this by country. And it gives you a list of all these different sales representatives or Kemet uh, representatives that can answer questions about the product that you have selected. Okay. Now, continuing on, let me go back to the home page and I can go here to applications. Let's say, for example, I want to read more about the technology that Kemet offers that can be used in automotive applications. So how do I do that? I go to applications, click on automotive. Okay. And once I do that, I can read, you know, on different sections, how Kemet technology can be used in the powertrain of an auto automobile or an onboard electronics or charging systems and so forth. So all of this at my disposal, at my fingertips in here. Now, not only does this offer you more information about it, it actually gives you here at the bottom further blog articles that pertain to that particular industry, automotive in this case, that you've selected. And you can simply click on the blog article name and you can read um, on, on that blog article that pertains to that industry. Now, let's say you just want to read about a specific application, like a technology application, like filtering, for example. So you can go to filtering and say technology applications, and you can click on filtering. And that will show you how Kemet's technology can be used in filtering applications. And as you can see, it goes across industries. So it's no longer limited by industry in this case, but it is, um, you know, pertinent to that particular application that you've selected. Now, in the event that you're working on an active design and you want to use Kemet's tools to help you with that, you can still come to this website. And from here, you can simply access the Kasem 3.0 that I just showed you earlier. So I can, I can come to design and I can click on Kasem Capacitor Simulator. And guess where that takes me? It takes me to Kasem 3.0, okay? Now, let's say I want to calculate inductor core loss. Guess where that takes me? It takes me to Kasem 3.0 under inductor simulation, okay? Which is, um, as I mentioned a minute ago, it's uh, actually a new feature that we didn't have before. Okay, so this is in a nutshell, the design section of this. Now, if uh, for example, you didn't know um, our, about our engineering center directly and you want to read more you know, technical blogs or articles about our products, you can come here to engineering center and by clicking on any of these links is actually gonna take you to engineering center. So for example, if I click on blog article, that takes you to the engineering center platform, which I just showed you under blog articles, because that's the link that I clicked on. Now, uh, last but not least, I want to show you the support um, uh, uh, tab because it it's, could come in handy if you need it. So for example, let's say you want to contact Kemet, you have a question about something. So you can say support, contact us, and it gives you the different um, options to contact us about what. So if you have a technical question, you can say, ask a question. And you will here fill your name, your address, your phone number, et cetera, your email, um, and you can submit your question to us, okay? Now, let's say I just want to find a sales representative in my region. So you go again to support, find sales representative, 
And again, once I filter, let's say I live in Australia. So I filter for Australia and it gives me where in Australia I can contact and who I can contact to ask them a question about Kemet's products. And finally, let's say I want to do business with Kemet. I want to buy a component from Kemet. So you can go here and browse Kemet's authorized distributors. And again, you can do that by region. So if you select Americas, it filters the distributors that we have available in the Americas uh, region. Okay. And finally, if you want to read more about our company, uh, you can find that information in the about section. So you can, for example, find company news, uh, excuse me, uh, overview, and you can also find company news in this section here. If you're interested in a career with, with Kemet, you can do that uh, by clicking this link. Okay. So with that said, I think that brings me to the end of my presentation. And now I'll turn it over back to you, Wilmer. All right. Thank you, David. Yeah, we do. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, very well stated all the, the many um, months of effort that, that we've put to, to getting this thing off the ground. And as you said earlier, this is definitely an ongoing thing. So let's, let's get on to the questions. The first one that came in was from, uh, from Kenneth and he mentions that visual search looks interesting. What about voltage bias? If I need a one nanofarad capacitor at 10 volts, the, part, the parts found won't necessarily work. Um, David, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll take this one. Sure, yeah, um, absolutely. Visual search as designed right now, it, it searches through the parametrics. So applying something like conditions, like I need one nanofarad at 10 volts and uh, 350 kilohertz or so, uh, it doesn't necessarily apply those conditions. And one of the reasons for that is that it searches across all parts dielectric agnostic. So to, to apply that condition across all the models and all the math, that's a daunting thing. It's something we haven't yet, um, we haven't implemented, but uh, the point is taken that that would be a good feature. So as it is right now, it just searches rated cap and volt. And then, um, the next question, and I'll, I can take this one on too if you want, um, is from an anonymous attendee. What about KSIM comparison of capacitors? I need to have second sources for capacitors with, and with DC bias, not all capacitors are the same. How can I compare your capacitors with the competitors for a second source? Well, um, KSIM itself, it, it's obviously for our own capacitors. We can't very well estimate the electrical performance and simulation of competitor capacitors. So uh, you can't really you know, pick up a competitor capacitor and try and do a side-by-side simu -side simulation of their electrical performance and ours. However, on Component Edge, when it comes to parametrics, you can actually type into Component Edge a competitor part number and it will return the Kemet cross. Yeah. So it's right in this box right here. Yes. So right in that, in that box, it, it's, as it says right there, competitor part number or description, you can type in a competitor part number and it will pull up the Kemet equivalent and you can compare the differences in parametrics or any, and any differences there might be. Uh, such as if a competitor ESR is 10 milliohms and we come out at eight, it'll highlight that and, and that'll be shown. Um, next Remember, if, I, if I might add um, yes, on the visual search, I mean, um, it's, it's actually a very good question, but I just wanted to add that the whole concept behind this uh, search tool was designed specifically to enable you to search and filter for components using only two uh, criteria, which are the capacitance and the voltage with nothing else. So that simplicity of search was well intended and that's exactly the tool uh that's exactly what the tool was designed to enable you to do that's why uh as you mentioned it doesn't take into account uh other uh, uh, uh you know variables by design so that's that's the intended function of this particular tool yeah 
Then um, uh, a question from the illustrious Karen Cooper. Uh, will Partner Hub be updated to those of you that know what Partner Hub is? That's something we're working on, but uh, not yet. Um, and the next question is, does the component edge is included in the new website? So one of the things we've done uh, from, a, from a component edge standpoint is we're starting to bridge the gap between the two properties. Um, so we're bringing that component edge type of search experience into the new website. And that's not to say that we're gonna shut off component edge or anything like that anytime soon. It's just that we wanna enable that from the new website so that you don't have to go to another place or another location. Um, David, I have another question. I think this one's up your alley. Uh, the question is, this, this particular person seems to have noticed that we have a live chat functionality. And the question is, is the chat really live? Yes, so. absolutely. It absolutely is, yes. Uh, we have uh, people on, you know, standby, um, you know, to answer any inquiries or questions that come through the chat as they come. So yes, it's very much a live chat function. Yeah, it's a live person, it's not a, a yeah. robot. No, it's not, it's an actual person. And then, uh, David, who, who should we contact when we have feedback on, on one of these digital properties? Um, okay, so as I showed a minute ago, you can simply, by going here to uh, contact us and chemet.com, this is the new chemet website, support and under contact us and you can simply click on that and you'll, you're able to see where it, um, you can say, you know select the website feedback and you can say send us feedback and maybe I didn't show that I apologize if I skipped over it uh, so uh, send us feedback and then you're able to uh, fill in your email and put what your feedback is if you're having an issue with the website um, you know and and so forth so um, and again, we have uh, people who are tasked and, you know, especially focused on receiving this sort of feedback, especially with this, um, our website being uh, just, you know, recently launched. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that we offer the best user experience. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, this is by no means the end of the road. So uh, your feedback is welcome if you uh, see on anything on our website, whether, you know, that you want to give us feedback on whether good or bad, you know, uh, we're definitely, uh, would, lo would love to hear from you. So use that link to send us your feedback uh, as you wish. Yes. Thank you, David. Sure. And uh, very briefly, going back to the question about DC bias in, in visual search, as I said, visual search doesn't necessarily account for it. However, KSIM does. So if you have a part in particular where you're concerned about the DC bias, uh, KSIM can simulate that for you, of course. Yeah, and I have this open here, and I, I think I may have uh, shown it, um, uh, you know, uh, a few minutes ago. You can, once you select your component, you can actually adjust your, um, your, your DC bias here, and it will adjust the, uh, the simulation accordingly, okay? Yeah. And you can do the same for your ambient temperature as well. Okay. So I'll give us another few seconds for any last questions to come through. So with that, this concludes this webinar. Thank you everybody for attending and we look forward to seeing you at one of these future webinars. So thank you, David. Thank you, attendees. Thank you, Wilmer. Thank you, thank appreciate you, it. Thanks for Leslie. everyone. Thank you, Leslie, for coming and thank you all to all of our attendees for coming and joining us today. Appreciate your time.